Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good Monday morning. Welcome to Coffee Break with Tara by Laura. I welcome you today to Coffee Break and I'm going to do something different. <laughs> I'm going to pull one card of each deck. I have three decks here with me today. And I'm going to pull one card per each. Because I can. <laughs> because I do what I want. So we're going to use the Love Empire. By Jasmine Beckett Griffith. The Lucy Cavendish Love Empire. And we're also going to use the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. And for the tarot, dun, 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 we're going to utilize the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. And of course, the art is by Tim Burton. Who actually wrote the Oracle? Who knows? But is the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck? Because of course, yes, there is a Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. And why am I doing all this spooky stuff? You may ask. Because I can. Because I want to. <laughs> Do you know? Anyway. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing good. Hello, Regina. Hello, Alex. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, IGTV. How you doing? I hope you're all doing okay over there on IGTV and Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. This Saturday, I will be at Bruja Co. on Evergreen Park at an event called Vendor Vibes. And it's going to be a whole day event. And I hope you join us there. Look, we have the Eight of Potions. The Eight of Potions. Hello, my Blair. Hello, Siri. Eight of Potions, which is digging deep into our emotions. Good morning, Diana. So this week looks like we are invited to really sit deeply with our emotions. And I have to remind you because there is, there is such stigma about feeling our feelings and about crying our tears and about being aware of our emotions. And there is nothing spooky about feeling our feelings. I think the world will be a better place if all of us would allow ourselves to actually feel our emotions and understand what is behind them, right? When we are angry, why are we angry? Is there more than just anger? Is there disrespect? Is, is there insecurity? You know, like what is behind our emotions? I am not a professional, <laughs> but I am very emotional. So I have learned to um, kind of like sit with my emotions and learn like what are they trying to tell me you know and and have that information and then make informed decisions so with that said no that doesn't mean we're going to be crying all the week it just means it will be a week filled with emotions and we are being told to pay attention hi lilani hi carries hi jackie welcome 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 Okay, so the second card we're going to pull is going to be an Oracle card. For those who have just arrived, I said I was going to pull 
one tarot card and one two oracle cards because I have declared Halloween officially in season. All right, so let's see what the we have the nightmare. <laughs> That's funny because we use the nightmare before Christmas tarot and then the card that we have with this like super sp spooky vampire deck is nightmare. So let's see what the message for nightmare is. It reads, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> the message for nightmare. No, you are protected and shielded when you sleep. You will soon be having nourishing, healing sleeps for which you awaken, revive, and ready for each day. The blessing of the card. It's a little, it's a long paragraph, but I want to read the whole thing. So bear with me here. Time to understand that at night we can be vulnerable and begin to work consciously towards lessening the fear of darkness, reclaiming healthy sleep, diminishing the reliance you might have on sleeping aids, dreams which disturb you will finally be understood, and then the part for good. A shift in your own energy will seal, seal auric entrances to irritating and greedy little entities who are still in your energy. You now have great support in seeking peaceful sleep, a great and beautiful human need. What I'm hearing with all this verbiage is try to rest, try to sleep, and try to bring yourself into your natural healthy cycle, whatever that looks for you. My natural healthy sleep cycle is 4 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock in the morning, you know. So it's different for every one of us. But what I'm hearing on that oracle is let's try to have healthy rest, you know. When we sleep enough, um, we are less stressed out and we are definitely more healthy. And it helps us emotionally as well. I didn't know that until I learned that from my therapist, who is an amazing person. So I made an effort to actually sleep. All right, let's see what the Halloween oracles. <laughs> Midnight. <laughs> you cannot make this up. You use the Nightmare Before Midnight uh, tarot deck, the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck, and then you have the card of Nightmare and the card of Midnight. I love it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, Midnight. I kid you not, listen to this message. The dark, it envelops me. The witching hour awaits. True magic and enchantment and spells that change fate. Allow yourself to relax into the benevolent darkness of midnight. You might feel this is your darkest hour, but know that the light will return again. The dawn always follows the darkest night. Know, too, that it is important to recognize that we all have darkness within us, just as we have light, and this isn't something to hide from. This is amazing. Thank you, Brooke. Brooke is right. The cards don't lie. So Nightmare Before Christmas tells us to go deep into our emotions, and water represents dreams as well, so there is a connection there. Then the love empire is telling us to not be afraid of nightmares and try to find our rhythm, sleep, and rest, and regenerate. And then this one is telling us, allow yourselves to relax into the benevolent darkness of midnight. 
You might feel this is your darkest hour, but know that the light will return again. The dawn always follows the darkest night. Know too that this that it is important to recognize that we all have darkness within us, just as we have light. This and this isn't something to hide from. And the little poem I really like: "The dark it envelops me, the witching hour awaits. True magic and enchantment and spells that change." All right, folks, I guess that was fun for being the first, like, old spooky uh, Dex reading coffee break. I wish you light and celebration. And when night comes, be not afraid. Embrace the darkness because the darkness is also you and it's also divine. Never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye. See you Wednesday or see you Saturday if you decide to go to uh, Vendor Vibes at the Brujaco on Evergreen Park. I uh, will see you in much love.